time has been set. Chair's been adjusted, locked in, loaded. I don't think I'm completely awake, but this is what we do on Sundays. It's uh, another state, and I gotta say that I would be lying if I didn't actually double, maybe triple take, that I uh, got the correct state alphabetically and that I did not miss any between the two in the past previous two episodes, but I'm, even after checking it, probably 95% still certain that I've covered my bases, unless between now and, well, tomorrow, which is when this is coming out, um, they do not create another state and name it something in between Mississippi and today's state, which is Montana. I don't know, maybe call it like, I have to sit here and think of an alphabetical letter that become, comes in between uh, I and O. And I'm trying to think of a vowel. Is there one? I don't think there's a vowel between I and O. There isn't. So it would just be some weird M N word like mnemonic. Yeah, they they, they come out with another state. What what am I doing? It's this is uh the dumbest, longest preamble. Anyway, here we are. We're starting the game with uh good old Montana. And as we chew through my time and resign myself to probably have a very bad score this time because Montana is the fourth largest state in area. You got Alaska first, Texas, California, then Montana. Then it's New Mexico, but you know, we'll worry about that later. Up here in the as ah, is still northwest, you could say um it's it's Spanish. It comes from the word Spanish, montaña which apparently means mountain. And back when they were figuring out the uh, Idaho territories and when they were uh, going to split things up and give things names, someone, again, you know, if you remember from back when we did Idaho, like the guy who came up, said the word Idaho, just kind of pulled it, pulled it out of his ass when he said it was a Native American word. Um, when they, there was very little effort, it seemed to have been put into the Montana one. Let's see what we got here. Main Street. This is a large enough chunk of town that it's got a four-way street and there's a fairground. So we got to be in a decently large, um, part of the state. It's, uh, anyway, so they were thinking, yo, this, this name's dumb. It means absolutely nothing, which I think is a direct quote from when they were looking to Oh, that's the no, maybe that's the name of it when they were trying to think of a name for it. And uh, we're batting around a few things. I guess one of them was Shoshone, which I believe is either a name for a specific or a like generalized word, maybe for a cluster of Native Americans. But Shoshone was a name that they thought about. There's 191, but nothing really ever, ever came of it. So I'm gonna say we're just in Harlow Town to center ourselves here. But as you can see. When anyone kind of goes away. So it could have been Shoshone, but then they said, no, we're just going to go with Montana. Montana. We're in uh, Lewiston. Okay, so we have Lewiston. Look at this. Let's see if I can find the uh, fairgrounds here. Oh my God. We essentially nailed it. I'm going to click like right there. I'm going to hit home and maybe. We are mm, close to one entrance heading in here, so I'm going to say we're like there. This gives me a good time to do a little bit more uh, scratching of a spot in my back I can't reach and talk about the uh, general little info about the state. I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see this here. You know, it is called Montana Mountain, and a very large amount of the state is actually not that, like, You've got the uh, 
Rocky Mountains here, which essentially go from like all the way up here, kind of technically all the way down to the tip of uh, Chile. Um, it's the Great Continental Divide going through this part of the uh, country. And I tried to look this up, but it's anecdotal at best. I remember this probably from my seventh grade um, science class that if you stood right on the peak of one of the Rocky Mountains, right along the Continental Divide, one half of you would technically be 12 feet taller than the other one to kind of bring up the equilibrium of the sea levels because I believe one ocean is actually higher up in elevation than the other ocean. I've mentioned this before, I think, on some uh, other videos, and I believe this is a very uh, seriously two points. You're not going to give me that. It's a very, like, choppy water. It's, it's very rough down there because, you know, they're trying to balance each other out. It's uh, it was a called the Montana Territory before it was actually a state. And it was a, uh, the 41st state admitted to the Union on November 8th, 1889. Its nicknames are Big Sky Country. It's the Treasure State. And more recently, apparently being called the last best place. And, you know, that's, uh, I don't know what to think of that. If it's arrogant, um, depressing, or maybe not a very good choice of words. Either way, uh, it's the fourth largest area, as I said. Um, let's see here, highest elevation. It's uh, Granite Peak, which is 12,807 feet, which is almost, well, it's 3,900 meters tall. It's a pretty, pretty tall mountain. And I believe it's the 10th largest, it's the 10th highest peak in the United States. So there, there's definitely taller. You've got the lowest, which apparently is only 1,804 feet. It's, you know, landlocked in a little, uh, well, it's center lane. It's a little, uh, it's, it's high up there elevation-wise. Um, a quick other things to look at. It's the, uh, about only about a million people live there. It's the 43rd ranked in uh, population. It's a giant state with a very tiny population to match it. And a lot of states out here in the Rocky Mountains, not Midwest, but looks like West Midwest, kind of like Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. Not so much Utah or Colorado. Maybe a little bit of New Mexico, but... A lot of space, very little people. Um, it's kind of got a weird um, economy, mostly only because it's... Oh, I'm going to go back out here because I did see a election. Uh, if I had a better um, like view of that, I might actually be able to suss maybe the town that they're going for an election for, but I can't see that here. Anyway, um, with a lot of states from this area of town, it's area of town, area of the country, it all kind of falls the same like uh, trajectory when it comes to, does it say Amen Firearms? No, Axman Firearms. Oh, if that said Amen Firearms, that would have been hilarious. Um, but it falls the same trajectory with a lot of states, mountainous states in the West in the U.S. and its history of first being a place not many people cared about. They dumped a lot of, um, dumped a lot of the Native Americans out there, let them have their own reservations, and then they found gold and, uh, wanted the gold. Um, there was a big boom as far as mining. There was Jackson. Yeah, that's just the name of the company. It's not the name of the town we're in. Anyway, Jackson's in Wyoming. Or at least the big Jackson. I'm a little worried that I have 15 seconds, and I have not actually seen where this is. So I got to make a guess. I'm going to say we're in Great Falls, but 
Um, the capital is Helena, the largest. Um, no, we were in uh, just outside Missoula. Oh, yeah, Missoula. I thought that was the name of the, 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 the church, not the town it was in. So fuck me on that. Um, the largest city in the state is um, Billings, if I remember correctly. Um, the density, it's about seven people per square mile, so it is the 48th most dense state, and that's 48 out of 50, just if you don't know how many people are in the state. Uh, highway, so I am definitely looking for highway signs. We have fairgrounds, but I'm not seeing um, any other information to help me out here. Um, where's Latch's Key? Oh, I thought that was about Latch Key Kids. No, it's about breastfeeding. Uh, let's see here. Median household incomes, about 53,000, which apparently is 38th, so it's kind of low. Okay, is this the speed limit, or is this where we are? Quickly, quickly, I just want to see. Okay, that doesn't help me. Back to the other side, I want to see this sign because this is going to help me okay so i want a northwest bypass i want to get off the exit and get back on so i can see what the uh city center okay so we're on the junction of highway 15 interstate 15 so we're going north south okay so we're going to go back and yeah, sometimes you put these signs up here. You really have to fuck up hard. <clears throat> to not be going the wrong way on the previous road, but going the wrong way twice again to actually get to this sign. Anyway, we're uh, coming back up here. We need to hit this sign here because we're on 15, and it's getting off on 80. Reverse triangulation, folks, to 87. All right, so we're going to zoom in a bit, and we're looking for 87. Okay, there's 87. So we're on 87. About to get on 15 to the Northwest Bypass. I don't... Oh, we're on 15, about to get off on 87, which would be... It'd have to be this, but what way are we going? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're outside Great Falls. I gotta make a guess. We're heading north on 87, so we got to be down here. So maybe like there. So maybe like here. We're going to hit home. We do have a bit of a turn. And there's a couple of spots where there's a turn. However, I don't see another exit before that exit. Is there? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're like, eh? Maybe like here. All right, doing a little bit better than I thought I was going to. Anyway, um, when they settled, they found gold. And when you find gold, everyone goes ape shit and wants more gold themselves. So that caused a population boom, relatively speaking. And then gold finally kind of went away. And then, then they settled on um, silver being the more uh, lucrative or desirable or profitable mining in the state uh, but a lot of the state as as i mentioned before not much mountains so a lot of farmland out here it's uh i don't know if if talking to other people who maybe not be very familiar with the country itself if, if you talk to a lot of americans at least and they don't really know that much about oh we were farther up north so i did have it backwards but 87 North, maybe I should have looked at the sign and then been able to figure out when I was in 87 to see which direction it was telling you to go. Then I could have probably figured out. Anyway, I'm happy with what I got. Man, there's a lot of, like, massive roads here. I mean, I guess when you have a lot of space you can kind of be like sure we'll do fucking 16 lanes Who gives a shit we got all this space we need to fill it up and there's always like this skybox 
of just mountains ringing everything out here. It's a interesting place. All right, so I'm hoping that one of these signs, and I'll pay attention a bit better this time, will tell me Flathead Lake. Okay, so is this Flathead Lake? This is a damned Missouri River. Um, is this flat? No, that's Missouri River. Flathead Lake. Here we go. So we're up here. Now, I don't know where specifically we are yet, so I'm hoping that I can look at one of these signs. And it'll say, this is a weird, is this an Azuzu? Yeah, Land Cruiser. I've never seen this small of one before. Huh. Usually they're like four-door, massive, very tall, very high center of gravity, very easy to topple over um, things. So I do see a few signs here. So we're on South 93, which I'm guessing is probably going to be this. So we're on this chunk here. See, we're nailing it down a little more. Greg Good, Valley Storage. That doesn't help me. Let's see here. Oh, we have a Trooper Memorial Highway. That didn't help me. I thought I was going to name where we were. I get a minute left. Rounding. I see some more signage. So potentially. Maybe this is a uh, historic downtown Cali spell. What the fuck's Cali spell? Okay. Oh, here we go. So we're at 93 on Cali spell. How far away are they from historic downtown Glacier Park International Airport? That's another thing it's got. It's got massive, like a lot of national park area. It's a beautiful, you can go ahead and look up anything as far as like Glacier National Park. You can, um, Yellowstone technically is part of it down here in the south. I'm going to zoom out a smidge. Yeah, you got some Yellowstone over here. Um, National Forest. It's it's a you can Google any of the national parks, Montana National Parks, and you'll just see some amazing shots. It's it's crazy how beautiful it is out here. A lot of like uh outdoorsy type activities, a lot of hiking. There's a lot of fly fishing it is pretty big out here. Kind of that type of outdoorsman touristy. Uh it could probably be a lot of big sporting lodges where you can come out here. Large ranches. Still, ranch life is pretty big out here. I don't know if it's the largest compared to some other states like of Wyoming. Um, consignment and antiques. Anything quickly? I've got one more round after this. Oh, we were farther south. No, we were farther north. Okay. Still. I did not expect to get 25% of the score. Like, I was thinking I was going to get images like this, which is very much in the middle of the mountains with these beautiful shots to look at. Look at this. Pretty high elevation. You got mainly just pine trees. Maybe a few aspens. Birch trees. Beautiful stuff. Uh, let's see. Is there anything quick I may not have mentioned in my review when I was looking at this stuff earlier? Uh, a dumb thing that I always found interesting. There's a thing called antipodes, which is... Any portal, I'll, I'll pull it up here in uh, Wikipedia, which is any spot on the Earth that its point on the Earth's surface is diametrically opposed to another. And a lot of the United States is uh, 
diametrically opposed by the uh, Indian Ocean. And there's only two places in the U.S. that actually has uh, land on the other side of it. Um, the Kerguelen Islands, which if you actually look at the flag of it, I mean, you got French in the, in the corner there. And then basically a knockoff logo from, knockoff logo from a, uh, a Call of Duty game on their flag. It's kind of badass, but it's also just a very strange logo. Um, yeah, the Krugerland Islands are any portal to the Montana, Saskatchewan, Alberta border. Um, no towns are precisely any portal to Krugerland, but I guess Chester and Rudyard are kind of close. So it's right here on this chunk of land here. Um, you know what? I've got a pretty good score. I'm fine with it. So Kerguelen Islands. Uh, let's see if I can't suss this out a bit more. Uh, they're very far from any... It's a very remote place. It's... it's what are this? Okay, I'm going to look at here real quick. Okay, this is going to be hard to find. Heard in McDonald Islands. You are not it. French Southern Antarctic. This is it. The Kurgu, this, this is the island. Maybe they've changed the name of it, but this is the island that's any portal. All the way. Look at how it's just so far away. So this, if you drill a line straight through this planet, will land you right around here. This, I have no idea where we are. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click up here because I have no clue. And I doubt I'm going to find it in time, but we'll see. Montana Conservation Corps. Uh, was there a sign back? There was, but I think it's just like parking. No, it's the same sign the other way. Um, quick other things here. Uh... A lot of uh, interesting history having to do with World War One. Uh, you can about Sedition Acts and the Montana Sedition Act and uh, some union busting leading to some lynchings. It's 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 a wild time with some very uh, interesting history dealing with World War One, um, the demand for supply, uh, very powerful companies. Making a lot of money, maybe not so much giving it to their employees, them trying to unionize and fight back, leading to mass men pulling an industrial workers of the world organizer, Frank Little. I'll do this real quick. Uh, revived in Butte to organize miners. He gave speeches with some inflammatory anti war rhetoric. So there, there was a lot of um, conflict. Sorry, this is going to be a bit of a tangent here because. Um, when World War I broke out, the first woman in the United States to be a member of Con Congress, Jeanette Rankin, who was from Wyoming, voted against the United States Declaration of War. So, you know, there was a lot of patriotism and some um, unhappy um, citizens of Montana who did not agree with her stance. So... This led to some conflict, and eventually it led to this incident with Frank Little where he arrived in Butte to organize some miners of this Anaconda Copper Company, which um, I forget exactly what. It might have been an Anthony Bourdain. I don't know if it was Parts Unknown, Nose of Reservations, one of his episodes where he was in Butte, and they talk about the modern, I guess, skeleton of a mining town and what it's turned into now. It might be Anthony Bourdain, I believe it is, but uh, he gave some speeches there. Anyway, this is Frank, back to Frank Little. And on August 1st, 1917, he was dragged from his boarding house by mass vigilantes and hanged from a railroad trestle, and it was considered a lynching. So there was strikes that followed after his murder, and it sent the National Guard to Butte to restore order. Um, and this led to something called the 
Montana Sedition Act, which was a more, I guess, extreme version of the Sedition Act of 1918. You can look this stuff up later. That's a history lesson. Not so much here. I got off on a big tangent. But anyway, here we are. The end of the episode. That was a whirlwind of an ending. With a better score than I thought I was going to get. Mainly just because the look of the draw gave me some pretty good information to go by here. Uh, if I had to rate this state based off of just how pretty it looks and absolutely nothing else because I know really little about it. Uh, I'll give it a top 20 rating. Again, I haven't done this with any of the other states, but we'll say top 20. Anyway, that's going to do it for our Monday episode. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, tips, hints, tricks, thoughts, whatever you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. And we'll be back here on Wednesday with another round of geoguessing. And I hope to see you then. Uh, have a good one, folks. That's the wrong button. Did I actually, uh, I need to see, did that? Yes, it did. All right. I have to cut some things out because it popped up the wrong screen. Anyway, goodbye, folks.